Hey everybody, Andrew here from ASIC Basics. Uh, in today's lesson, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to take this and use it to program this. All right, let's see how it goes. So one of the things I've found is uh, in trying to troubleshoot some boards, especially if it comes up with zero ASIC, uh, an unrecognized board, or another thing is a lot of CRC errors. It seems to point to the PIC um, malfunctioning, the PIC getting corrupted, or the PIC is bad and you have to replace it. So one of the things you need to be able to do is reload the PIC, which is what we're going to do right here. It's actually a really simple process. Um, there's not much to it. You insert the PIC at three, you plug it into your computer, and it takes about 12 seconds for the hex file to download. And I'll have all those hex files available on my website as well. So if you notice, each of the boards next to the PIC, we have these six pins. One of them is square. I made it up with our PIC at three. Comes with the cable. Simply all we do is we look for our black lead. We take that and gently insert it in. Set our pick it up. Next step, that goes in the computer. Okay, we start with our pick. It's our F1704. We've got our picket cable. You can see I've got black goes into the square. Once we've got that set, we come over. All right, we see picket three is got power, it's active. At this point, we've loaded our MP Lab IDE software. That's the software from Microchip. We've gone ahead and selected the device we have. We've gone into advanced mode. If you see up here, passwords microchip, it'll stay saved. We've selected our device, the PIC 161704. From our device list, as you can see, we have the PIC at 3 is attached to the USB port. We've got our file, our hex file that we're going to load selected here. I took this off a good hash board. Now, simply all we have to do is click connect, and it should attach. Because it's a uh, socket you just plug in, sometimes you have issues uh, with connection and Given that, uh, you may need to reseat it. Also of note, uh, it is a 5-volt device, so go ahead and feel free to check that. And we also are just going to say do not show this again, otherwise this error will pop up each time, or dialog window. As you can see, we did get an uh, invalid device ID, so I went ahead and I reseated it. And we're going to try to attach again. As you can see, this time it did find the target device, the 16F1704. So this point what we're going to do is now that we've found our target device as you can see here it matches the device that we've selected from the drop down it is a 5 volt device i've selected my hex file and i'm simply going to press program after we press program it takes about 10 to 15 seconds and should load up just fine you'll get a uh, report back on the bottom as you can see programming is complete uh, the next step is to verify. You don't need to do this, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and verify and ensure that the programming was done properly. As you can see, it was successful. We are now going to disconnect. We can unplug our Picket 3 and let's throw it back into the system and see if it works. Whew. Hope you hit pause. Don't worry, you can go back and rewind. I know we went through it pretty quick, but... Uh... It's pretty simple, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Got any questions, feel free to hit me up, info at asicbasics.com. Once again, everything you can find is on my website at asicbasics.com. and the link to my projects. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, or experiences, please feel free to hit me up. I hope you like the content, and if so, uh, please feel free to share it. And I definitely want to give a shout out to Custom Miner Service. Uh, I didn't come up with this method. They did. Uh, got all the information off their website, customminerservice.com. 